today is the 1st of January, 22. Last night I was watching YouTube and I came across a video featuring Tommy Robinson. Now this video was on a platform. It was a live broadcast on a platform called Getter, G-E-T-T-R. This is a new platform set up last summer. I think it was on Donald Trump age who had set up this platform. Anyhow, Tommy Robson was on this and he was talking about a documentary that he will be releasing soon about the grooming gangs in Telford. Now, Tommy Robson is not a politician. He's very good at what he does, but unfortunately what he does doesn't work. Nobody is going to be watching this documentary. That's number one. Normal people, the British people, are not going to be watching Getter or Parler or platforms like that. You know, if you want to talk to the British people, you have to go on YouTube or Facebook or something like that. That's number one. Number two, the people of Britain don't care. They don't give a damn. If you think back to just a couple of years ago, you had the Football Ads Alliance out protesting in the street. And you had the big protests outside the courts in London when he was being tried for various things. What are all those people doing now? Well, the Football Lads Alliance now are paying money to watch people bend the knee. They don't care. They don't give a damn. Now, Tommy Robson is very good at what he does. He's very good at the, let's say, the street protest, the, that type of thing. Very good. But the fact is that's not working now and if Tommy Robson wants to change things he's going to have to go into proper politics. He's going to have to, well he could stand as an independent but I would like to see him join the For Britain party. I would like to see him join For Britain and stand for the council elections in wherever it is he lives, he would stand a reasonable chance of getting elected. He could then go from there and try and build up, trying to build up support in that particular area and maybe in time get elected to Parliament. And I think would be, I think he would benefit from having the For Britain Party there behind them. And of course, the For Britain Party would benefit from increased membership. But the, the simple fact is that what Tommy Robson was doing in the past, it hasn't worked. He's been shut up, shut out and silenced. Tommy Robson has been disappeared. That's the objective fact. And, you know, having th this, this film he's making, the only people who are going to watch it will be basically activists or people who are followers of Tommy Robson. It's a waste of time, it's a waste of resources, and nobody cares, nobody is interested. That's the simple fact. Now, this platform he's on, Parler, or not Parler, this, uh, what's it called again? Getter. It's like Parler and it's like um, Gab and all these, you know. You know, if you want to talk to the public, the public don't watch these channels or these social media sites. They're junk sites and they attract a lot of all the wrong people. So, 
As I said, I think Tommy should go into politics properly, join the Poor Britain Party, try and get himself elected in his own area as a councillor or something, and move from there. But it has to be said that things aren't looking good. You know, the Poor Britain Party held its national conference a few weeks ago. It had to be held in secret. Now that tells you everything you need to know. Now I don't know why Anne-Marie Waters tolerates this. You know, if you allow people to intimidate you, they will intimidate you. Now what should have happened is this conference it should have been held in an open manner and if and if people tried to shut it down in some way you know what what Britain should be doing is for Britain should be going after those people and targeting them you know if you allow people to bully you will you bully you they will the only way to deal with people like that is, first of all, you identify them, you find out who they are, you film them, you find out who they are. That's not difficult to do. And then you go after them. You go after them with a fine tooth comb. You look into every aspect of their lives, their friends, their families, everything. And you'll always find something. And with people like this, you probably find quite a lot. And then you bully them, you target them, you bully them, you give them the taste of their own medicine, you you get in touch with their employer, you get in touch with, if they're engaged with charities, you, you hound them. You do exactly what they are doing to everyone else, you hound them. Now if you do that, a lot of those people will just disappear. A lot of these people who are Closing down for Britain and to our bullying, bullying and intimidating people in lots of different ways. And, you know, a lot of these people they're doing it quite simply because, well, nobody's stopping them. Why wouldn't you? You know, if you're a bully, you're a thug, and you've got nothing better to do, why not go out in the street and call people's precious gun? What's anyone going to do about it? Well, nothing. We have the same thing here in Ireland. We have a couple of smaller now political parties, if you like, alternative political parties. And we have a couple of groups and individuals who arrange demonstrations and all that. And what happens? Well, they're called scum in the street. They're shouted down, <coughs> bullied, etc., etc. And what do they do? They do nothing. Nothing. And Ireland's a small country. You know, these people are standing in the street and call you scum. It's very easy to track them down. But, and yeah, I'm waffling a little bit. But the bottom line is this, what Tommy Robson is doing now, is a waste of time. Now, there is this tendency I've seen that you know, I've been critical in some respects of Anne-Marie Borders. I think she's doing a lot of things wrong. And the response I get immediately is people criticise me. They criticise me for because I'm pointing to a problem. You know, if you want to solve problems, if you want, let's say, Anne-Marie Borders to succeed, if you want Tommy Robson to succeed, then you know, if they're doing something wrong, you've got to say to these people, look, you're doing that wrong. There's a better way of doing it. Now, in the case of Tommy Robson, I have huge admir admiration and respect for the man. Huge. As far as I'm concerned, he is a hero. An absolute hero. But, but as a fact, he's not a politician. He's not a politician, and if he wants me to change things now, he needs to become a politician. This street protest thing, this thing of protesting on local issues, it doesn't work. 
and he doesn't have the platform to now. You know, even in the past when he was on YouTube and he was, millions of people were watching. But what was the end result of all that? Nothing. He achieved nothing. That's a simple fact. Now, as I've said, I hugely admire him. He's a very brave man, obviously a very talented man. But he's wasting his time with our policy on if he wants to really change things, he's got to get involved in politics. I think his natural home would be the for Britain Party. I believe it would be a benefit both of them if he was joined for Britain, get elected as a local councillor, learn, learn the political game. He's a very intelligent man. He learned very fast. In the long term, that's the direction I think he should go in. But getting involved in these Mickey Mouse platforms and, you know, a lot of the activists he's involved with, they might be good people, they might be well-meaning, but a lot of them are problematic, let's say. And in the real world, if you want to make real change, you have to, you have to make mature political decisions. You have to disassociate from certain people. That's just the way things are. Anyhow, I waffled on a bit. That's all I wanted to say. I woke up this morning, the first, the first day of the New Year, switched on my radio, and there was a guy called, oh, what was the name? Scaramucci or Scaramucci. A businessman, apparently also a politician, he was on and he was talking about how America must come together, you know, it's a divided nation and we must come together and all that. And he was doing all that talk. And then, of course, he mentioned Donald Trump and basically called him a fascist. And uh, he said that, you know, if Trump runs again, that he'll be out fighting. And you know, this woke thing, you know, we must bring America to, together, but uh, but forget about Trump and half the population of America vote for him. They don't matter. You know, there's this double thing. So I just mentioned that because the first day of the year switch on my radio and you've got the propaganda. And this propaganda is going to go go on all day, every day, on ra every radio channel, every newspaper, etc, etc. Every time you switch on your television now, all you see are mixed marriage people and a crazy number of black people and adverts and all of that. This is only going to get worse and worse and worse. Things are bad and they're getting better by the minute. And I don't see that, I don't see any prospect of that changing. Unless people on our side, so to speak, grow up. They need to grow up. And the first thing they need to do is they need to stop the intimidation. They need to, they need to challenge the, the bullies head on. But I'll make another video about that. But there you are. It was nice to see Tommy Robson again. But the fact is, at a certain level, it was very sad. He's on a Mickey Mouse channel that normal people aren't going to watch. Uh, he's wasting his talents. He's wasting his abilities. He should join for Britain, get into serious politics.